Most bankers aren't ready to help you until after their third cup of coffee. But with Central National Bank's after-hours service, you don't have to wait for the bank lobby to open to get help. You can contact us from 6 to 8.30 in the morning or from 5 to 10 in the evening, and we'll connect you to a real, live, local person who can answer questions and fix problems seven days a week. Bank different. Bank central. Central National Bank. Member FDIC. This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Welcome back to What's Up Waco, the podcast that loves to introduce you to the people, the places, and the properties that make Waco an excellent community to live. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to What's Up Waco. I am your host, Erica Boisvert, and today, Randa Rice of the Med Spa is joining me. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. Doing great. That's awesome. Well, thank you for coming out today. I know. We're up here at the tippity top of the Alico. Hey, it's my first time here. It's, I love it. Isn't it fun? I have people it who is. are like native Waco and they're like, oh, I've never been in the building. I didn't even know we could. Really? Are you yeah. from here? No. I've we're... been here about six years. Okay. And were, were you born in Texas? Yes. Okay. Uh, kind of Fort Worth, the Keller area. Oh, that's right. So we came out here from South Lake. Very cool. Okay, nice. How are you liking the area so far? It's interesting. <laughs> it's like you never know what you're going to get from one street to the next, but the That's community fair. is not like any other. There, I yeah. love the community. I would say it's definitely not what you see on TV. No. Either way, whether you're watching like old school stuff like DEA following up on the crush situation or if you're watching like houses get flipped, uh, none of that is real Waco. I would have to agree. I'm learning that. <laughs> <laughs> the street to street thing is super true. Um, but then community is massive here do you feel like as a small business owner you feel it differently uh the community yeah or, or do you feel like just all because I know you're heavily involved with a bunch of stuff so like yeah. church and unbound and business and all that I think that's where I feel that the community thrives for me mm -hmm. I've had so many people just come behind me and just help me in this whole journey of just like pushing you up and getting you. Yeah. I feel when I ask that question of people, um, overwhelmingly the response is that the small business community here and just the people of Waco are amazing and supportive. Uh, I, okay. So it's also, <laughs> I'm You're trying fine. to be, I'm just going to be real with you. I'm a yeah. little bit between Tupac and Jesus. Okay. So I still <laughs> both poetic. <laughs> yes. Ahead. So there's still a little bit of inner gangster in there, but don't be anything other than who I you know. are. Well, uh, you know, I'm a work in progress. We all are. So I have two very different sides to that coin. Okay. I have so much support and love from people who know me and who have walked with me and just through the years of working at Green Eye Associates. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side of that coin is just the amount of cutthroat this industry is. Ooh, I was okay. not expecting that. Really? Oh, yeah. Girl, I cried for like two weeks. What? Why? <laughs> Out here? Yes. Like with with your first location, second location, both, all the, like which one? Okay. So just what a little background yes, from the go. med spa. We, I started out at Green Eye Associates mm -hmm. working next to Dr. Green for about five years. Oh, I didn't realize and, you were there that long. Yeah. Okay. And, but she let me have a room inside that I was able to work on my patients as well, kind of build my name, my portfolio over the last five years. Okay. And by the grace of God, you know, she helped me get a location directly across the street. Okay. And it was, we were just so small and just personal. Her and I, neither one of us expected the med spa to grow as fast as it did. So fast. Okay. It was so fast. And, you know, Leanne being my friend and just the amazing person she is, she sold me the name for a dollar. But yes, I know. But that was when it was really just me, her, and her team that she's familiar with. Okay. But as the med spa continued to grow, you know, there's a lot of you know, more safety things you have to worry about, sure. legal aspects. Yeah, liability So, wise. yes. Yeah. So with that being said, you know, it's super important to protect your name. Yeah. Your name is what you have. And 
So we decided to just go ahead and rebrand that okay. way, you know, liability or anything like that. And it's become so confusing. My patients will go to her, hers to me. The phone calls will get mixed up. So it was just better for us okay. to do that. So fast forward, like I said, neither one of us expected the med spa to grow as fast as it did. Well, that definitely um, stirred a few feathers, I guess you can say. Really? Yes. I'm not going to use the names because Fair. I don't want to be the person that has anything to do with somebody else looking at another business in a different way. Okay. I just don't want to be that person, okay. right? But there is three there are three med spas that have kind of like paired up and they're all like, they're all affiliated with each other. Okay. And then, you know, an esthetician that I had to let go. Well, it is unheard of for you to do five or $7 a unit of Botox. Yeah. It just is. That is fair. That is completely fair. Mm -hmm. However, what they don't realize is for my business plan, mm -hmm. You know, I focus more on the training. I train and certify RNs, yes. NPs, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. But they need live models. You right. know, you've, you've got to have a lot of hands-on when you're working with neurotoxins. It's, mm -hmm. it's, there's a lot to it. So what I decided to do is, you know, instead of investing all of this money, thousands of dollars, into marketing and networking, I, it, I decided, why don't we just put that in product? Yeah. So we'll put it in product and we'll give it away to you. Because, mm -hmm. you know, not everybody can afford hundreds and hundreds of dollars. No, fair. Right? Yeah. But they might be able to afford product costs. Mm -hmm. And that gives our nurses plenty of hands-on. So we created a model Monday and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. It's where anybody who has gone through training previously, they can always come in and refresh, get hands-on. And we just basically give away product, right? Okay. Well, they don't understand that. Like I charge, my price is the same as theirs. Okay. Models are totally different. That, you know, these nurses aren't making money off of that. Right. They're, They're learning. They're getting all hours. It's hands right? on. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> they have taken, it has gone to the extreme. When I say the extreme, they have reached out to my medical director. <gasps> yes. They have contacted my patients, and when I do post for models, they'll reach out to the people or they'll troll on there, just really Gross. trying to run my name in the ground. Okay. And it is so hard because, like I said, a little bit between Tupac and Jesus. <laughs> I like, want, which way am I going to go? I want so badly to defend myself. Well, how about this? How about let's go the high road? Because I've modeled for you twice. Yeah. Like and people like like for first timers, I was like, nah, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to spend the big bucks until I know I like it. And I've it's, loved it. I'll, I'll spend whatever you ask me to spend next time. But um, I'll tell you right now, anybody that's listening, it's been an amazing experience. Super clean, super professional, chill, laid back, relaxed, in and out. I'm very happy with the results. I stare at my mm -hmm. forehead way more often than a normal person <laughs> normal person should. Um, so, like, there you go. Like, I'll I'll go high road for you right now. This was an amazing experience, and I'm yeah. super stoked, especially to have you in our backyard right nice. now in China Spring. So, like, forget that. Like, whatever you're doing, what just because they didn't come up with a smart idea, like, let's move on. You know what I mean? Well, I'm not going to lie. I, I've done so many posts and I'll leave it like 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then Holy Spirit's like, take that down. I'm like, <laughs> ah! So I'll do it and then I'll take it down. I'm like, okay, fine, Lord. I'm going to let the Lord defend me. <laughs> but it is so hard because yeah. I care so much about my patients. Yep. I would never put them in danger. No. Never. But you want to know a fun fact? Mm. All these people worried about that. Did you know that, first off, Botox is only FDA approved for your gabella, your 11s. So oh. anytime you do your foreheads, your crow's feet, you're going off label. You're going against <gasps> FDA anyway. I didn't know that. Yes. And also another fun fact is, did you know that Javove is actually a Korean tox nabota? I didn't. When you posted about that the other day, I had to look up what that was. And I'm not going to lie to you. Mm. I think the Korean stuff is hands down way better anyways, because they are dominating, dominating the skincare. And we haven't even updated our SPF in 25 years. 
Oh my gosh. Now legally I can't do that. You know, right, right. you have to go by protocol or do that. But if you want to know my honest opinion, mm-hmm. that's my honest opinion. So when, never mind. I'm not gonna say that. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because a part of me wanted to be like, if they're so mad at me for mm-hmm. that then I'm just going to buy a few bottles and give it away free then. And I was like, no, 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 Randa, that's not letting God. I think that what you're doing right now, that that <laughs> that's not. I think that what you're doing now, though, it speaks for itself because you're getting such a great reaction. You're building your client list and like great nurses like Stephanie get oh, yeah. an opportunity to practice, right? So, I mean... But now it's they're attacking win. her. Oh, that's not cool. That's She's cool the, people. That's the problem. So I have, like I said, I cried for two weeks, right? Mm. That's mm-hmm. because I genuinely had to let it go and just move on and mm-hmm. know that I'm not out here hurting people. Right. I'm not out here using counterfeit products. I don't Mm-mm. do any of those things that the rumors say. So I had to just let it go. Well, but that's now awesome. they're turning it towards the nurses that are in training with Come me on now. and posting stuff on their personal it's <gasps> just not a good look and it's wow that's ugly it, it is but the thing is is ugliness in the beauty industry they just don't know it looks that way and the truth of the matter is is you have to be cautious there has been a big wave of counterfeit botox that's a difference. There's a difference between the same exact tox from a different manufacturer in a different country mm-hmm. than somebody out here actually making counterfeit Botox. So in their defense, it could look that way. Okay. But they didn't ask. No, they, they just went straight to the attack. No, they, they didn't. And I'm an open book. You mm-hmm. can come in, ask me to show you anything, and I will. Okay. Period. Done. And it's up to you. But you know what? Like, good on you because your business is growing and thriving without having to throw mud on somebody else. And you know what? That's how it should be. Um, And I have found, like, in other industries within town, it tends to be a little more supportive. The restaurant industry, um, for sure, is super supportive in town. Um, So that's that's a bummer. Yeah. Every other business that I've ever encountered Mm -hmm. or worked with have been absolutely amazing. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's talk about your second location because I, I love it. Oh, the China Spring? Yeah. yeah. How's Ooh. it going? Because you're doing some fun stuff there. I am. I'm trying to create something that is not like every other one around. Nice. Right? But okay. also be your one-stop shop without being like a jack-of-all-trades type thing. Okay. Uh, the China Spring location, I want it to be more medical. Mm-hmm. So there's... That and then I'm thinking about doing a tattoo artist and piercers have I know, piercers this is there. Mm-hmm. I know, but we did I'm just waiting. open. We did just open our tattoo and piercing studio yesterday. You did okay because I keep watching the posts and I'm like, what's coming yes, up? Yes, I'm oh, super very cool. excited about that. Y'all know I am no stranger to tattoos. I'm actually <laughs> covered, right? I right. just choose to keep them cover up for professional reasons. Okay. Uh, But I've had so many of my patients talk about these cute little tattoos they want or something to that they can remember, you know, their loss for or people who, you know, have have lost their babies like and they want something, but they're afraid of their standard tattoo shops. Really? You never know what you're going to see on the walls, whether it's naked ladies, demonic, anything. Okay. You don't know what you're going to hear on the TV, what kind of music or conversations that are just around you that you wouldn't want your kid necessarily to hear. So this is like you can get a tattoo in your med spa, which has... No, totally we have, it's a totally vibe? it's a totally different location. Oh, where is it? It is right next to our location in Waco. Oh, but it, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. but it is built out just like the med spas. Okay, so it has that feel. The artists wear scrubs. The piercers wear scrubs, which we have one of the best nice. piercers in Waco, Haley Wells. Okay, 14 years experience. Um, it's spa music and just glam, and nice. it's just a safe place for. You know, like Baylor or my yeah. patients who just because the tattoo scene, it's it's a whole culture in itself. Oh, yeah. Right. Yes. So I just want to create that same different type of culture. If right. That makes sense. Like, So you want to kind of keep it within like the spa 
feeling. Yes, but it's full tattoos. But you're still getting a every, great it's not tattoo. Just, yeah, it's not just fine lines, like cute little hearts or anything. It's <laughs> an actual tattoo artist. She's okay. moving here from Washington in a couple of weeks. Nice. Our piercers are already there. But I kind of want to bring that into China Spring as well. Yeah. I just don't know the legality of it yet. I haven't right. looked into it. I it's don't so know weird if they'll that allow that. Space. Yeah, I think there's something to do with certain amount of mileage from a school. I'm not sure. Is your... Uh, is your China Spring location technically still, is it still the 08? Is it still Waco? I believe so. It's at Saddle Creek. It's, yeah, you might it's be. It's the okay. last suite in like that little medical strip. Right. So I don't really know. I know. Because if it's the same as Waco, you might be good to go. But I love the idea of, um, like there's some cool shops downtown as well. Like don't get me wrong, but I understand some people maybe feeling intimidated going into them and they mm -hmm. they can be very dark. And also, you know what I don't like is like having to wait until two o'clock in the afternoon. What if I have stuff mm -hmm. going on? You know, a lot of times, unless you have an artist that you can make an appointment with, you're not getting yeah. in the shop until the afternoon. Well, and we That's want kind of... it to be those normal hours. Okay, so cool. it's open from like nine. Our artists will stay till like 10 at night. But before she was there all night long, mm -hmm. she, sometimes she said she left at five in the morning. And she just doesn't want that. I don't blame no, her. No, I don't blame her. Uh -uh. But our China Spring, I wanted to create something for the locals. Yes, I, it's something new from the outside, but it was created for locals. So the staff there are all local. Very cool. I yeah. like that a lot. So I love your story, not just the fact that you're this kick-ass business owner, which you mm -hmm. are, and I hope you own that and feel that, um, but how you got here. Oh, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> and we don't have to dig deep into all of that because I know that you're great about speaking on it and sharing your story. Um, do you want to touch on that a little bit? I know you're about yeah. to talk about it at the Unbound Gala and you're going to go like full boat yes, into everything. So they have my video. Yes. Um, I can't go too much into it right mm -hmm. now because they're going to, you know, do the video and I'm sure. speaking at the event. But how I ended up in Waco okay. was going to a year-long faith-based program for inner healing, mm -hmm. which was through Antioch, and going through Unbound Now for anti-trafficking. Mm -hmm. uh, and now I'm on the board of advisors for Unbound Now for human trafficking. I was trafficked. I love that. Yeah, I'm a. I can't give too much detail, but I was yeah. a survivor of human trafficking mm -hmm. from 18 to 23. So I spent about five years being trafficked well and even i mean even your that 14 to 18 period of your life was also oh, it rough was and like brutal yeah i just i grew up in a meth home oh, like yeah. no food electricity or water we bathe in the sea mm -hmm. you know scrounge up 25 pennies so we can get an oatmeal pie during the summer and we ate during school right right or yeah bathe in the sink at school mm -hmm. but uh yeah so there, I mean, there's a lot there. I can't go. <laughs> I like, so I'm trying yeah, to figure out how, I know to, how to like still give so, some of that without uncovering all the video too. It's, right. It's that's, I think that just touching on the fact that you, I mean, huge survivor, you yes. went through what people don't even want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Right. That was your life. Absolutely. And it wasn't just you, it was you and your siblings um, and your kids. Like that's, yeah. You have broken what is typically a generational curse. Oh, absolutely. Right? I, I believe that. I should be dead. Like, hands down, I should be dead. I actually thought, of, you know, cried out to God while I was overdosing. Mm -hmm. Because in that, and when you're trafficked and when you grow up the way you do, like, drugs are, it's it's a thing. Like, yeah. you, can, you don't want to be here. Right. Right? Um, so... I actually was a drug addict for many, many years. I shot up heroin. Mm -hmm. I did, you know, I I should be dead multiple times, but it was God. It was the grace of God in this community that is just, Waco saved my life. Like, and I, I don't take that lightly and I right. want to give back. I want to take care of everybody else. That's why it was so devastating to me at first. Right. Because trust is so big for me. Mm. Oh, I can't even imagine and, how you trust people. Honestly. And then I'm wow. like, and I was laying in bed crying. I was like, Randa, <laughs> get up, brush it off and go on. Like, 
what I've been through in the past didn't kill me, this isn't going to kill is, me. Right. Like, just keep doing you. But it's like a different level of devastation, I it think. It is. It, because you've gotten to that. Because I've worked so hard and so long for years. And you're, like, around the people that you wouldn't expect it of. Like, not to mm-hmm. be a jerk, but, you know, growing up in the house you grew up in. And then, mm-hmm. obviously, you know, meth heads aren't, like, really looking out for you. Um yep. They don't think you need to eat. They're not hungry. Right. They're, why Why would you be hungry? I mean, right. <laughs> and wait, you're still there? Like, <laughs> um, I just, I feel like it's a different level of devastation because now you're accepted. You're in this community. It's people who are supposed to be looking out for you that you can safely have kind of an expectation of that. And well, then they just like So, flipped. okay. What? This is. <laughs> like, maybe not. Okay. I mean, <laughs> this. I am not 100% innocent in this. I okay. am just going to be very real. <laughs> a little bit of Tupac so came out. Right, yes. So <laughs> I'm like, Lord, I need more of you and a little less of him. Because like Maybe I said, they when needed all that, some Tupac. Well, when all that was happening, like when the rumors first started, when I first mm-hmm. started hearing it. Yeah. I was like, mm, I'm just going to let God defend me. I know I'm not doing anything. Mm-hmm. Right? Not a problem. And then I get a phone call from Allergan. And I was in the middle of training. So I had training that day. I ran out of talks. I reached out to somebody local. Okay. Again, I do not want to use his name because to me, I trusted him. He's reputable. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to give him the benefit of the doubt that he didn't know. Okay. Right? Sure. So <laughs> the whole how the uh, counterfeit talks kind of ties in. Oh, right? yeah. So anyways, there's me and I'm like erasing, like typing up. Uh, post erasing it, typing up post erasing <laughs> it. I get a call from Allergan and they're like, you can't use the word Botox and you can't sell it for that much. I was like, what? It's like, this is my product. I bought it. You cannot tell me yeah. what I can or can't do. I'm like, I'm doing this as product. I'm not, that's not what I'm charging my units for. Right. Right. They're like, well, we can't find you. I'm like, Okay, at this point, I'm thinking they're fake. I'm thinking uh. it's the people. Like, So then my gangster like, nice comes try. out. Like, there was no holdback, right? Okay. So the inner gangster came out, and I said some few choice words that I had definitely had to repent, and I'd call them later and repent. Oh. But I thought they were fake people. Sure. Because I was like, what do you mean? You can't find me. I'm like, I order Botox. I do this. Come to find out. Fast forward. Oh, yeah, where they're like, you can't use, you can't say the name, you can't do that. So I was like, fine, I'll just take pictures of the bottle and post that and let them see what it is. And I won't use the word. There you go. Right. I should have listened to Holy Spirit (laughs) and my husband, but I didn't. Oh, and my husband. But I didn't. Instead, I just had our nurse rewrite it with better grammar. (laughs) And then I was going (laughs) to post it that way with the pictures I had just purchased these two bottles from this guy, right? Well, and I did this post. I put the pictures on there, right? Fuel to the fire. I gave them their ammo. Oh, no. Next thing you know, um, one of my staff members, like, noticed something. I noticed that the bottle was a little off, too, but I didn't think much of it. I was like, okay, they must be changing out stuff, right? Sure. New label. You know, I was like, that's strange, but okay. I trust this guy. Okay. Well, fast forward. One of my employees, like, ran this looks like this this and that this doesn't look right oh, you no. might want to look into it and i was like i did a bunch of research i was like there's no way so i call allergan mm-hmm. and i had them confirm it do the lot number and in fact it was counterfeit product oh gosh okay, yes that's and, that, okay and a wave of it has been going around and this is when all the videos and stuff like that for counterfeit botox was coming out and mm-hmm. i was shocked I was floored oh, immediately. No. I turn it in, do the necessary steps, contact Good. Allergan, contact the person I got it from, mm-hmm. let them know. So I'm just going to give them the benefit of the doubt and trust them that he didn't know either. Fair. Right? Yeah. So I did a post. I made it public. I let everybody know. So that way there was nothing like, hey, right. guys, this is. So I instantly corrected it. Good. But it was because of that, like, I'm going to prove a point. They can't call me and tell me anything <laughs> that got me into this, too. Uh, so it is my fault as well. But then you well. found it. I did. Because if you hadn't I done that. everybody, oh, like, I did my part, but they mm-hmm. took that and ran with it. Of course. But that's okay. <laughs> so I found out that the reason why they couldn't find me is because we weren't registered under a med spa. 
our doctor at the time is a urologist. So when they set oh. it up, it was set up under medical. Okay. Not beauty, not any okay. of that. So that's why it was, it just we was couldn't get the alley wrong. points at first and stuff. So they had to go and redo all of that. Okay. But I wouldn't have known this either if this stuff didn't happen. So but it's kind of good you I did the spent, post. Well, and I took spent time to look at thousands it. of dollars. I paid for a compliance oh. officer to come audit me. Oh, wow. To make sure, like, because it had me, like, I started wondering. I started sure. questioning. And so like I everything. had us audited. I did all these things, got better systems. So really, nice. what was meant to be evil, God really kind of turned it for good. And mm -hmm. it, it, I mean, it definitely hurt us financially. Yeah. All the, you know, backlash from that. But God has redeemed it. And That's now awesome. we know that we know that we are 100%. Right. So what could have been so now devastating whatever was they a blessing they can, in disguise. Yeah, do whatever they need to do. It was. It was a blessing in disguise. I just can't believe people are so but whatever. It ended up working out in your favor. And I still hope they make it. Like I get oh. it. I never I am not trying to price gouge. I am not trying to take their people. Like I know it's hard out there right mm -hmm. now. And hurting people hurt people. And mm -hmm. that's what I had to realize to start just forgiving. And move on is all those people could have possibly been there. So they might be struggling. They might Maybe. be hurting. Right. And I don't ever want to be that person. Okay. So it actually breaks my heart for them. And I, I do want them to make it. But if it doesn't stop, because it's past the point of bullying, it's it's defamation, it's slander. Like, Ugh. I don't want to have to go to root to get legal help. But right. it's like, at what point is enough enough right and at what point is turning a blind eye gonna have a yeah. negative effect on you exactly that's hard but so. i mean just keep i would say just keep plugging away keep doing yeah. what you're doing keep your head up um you know it's i think your business is growing for a reason um and you know everybody's there is i think that's the thing that frustrates me is because there's always enough business out there for oh, everyone yeah. there really is our nurse says so, there's enough on. wrinkles to go around there, oh, <laughs> like, trust i me. love my team i have the best team <laughs> we play we do all uh, types of stuff so it's it's amazing no that's and awesome. they're all genuine mm -hmm. they all genuinely care about their patients and they're not going to put their license on the line for anybody no well and i think that's something that people forget about your rns mm -hmm. like yeah Hi, we this have is, this like is we have a couple no of what yeah we have a couple of nurse practitioners a couple mm -hmm. of rns three estheticians we had two medical directors like none of those people are going to put their license on the line for me <gasps> well to yeah. just use counterfeit product that's insane right no, it's fine. I think that you guys are doing something innovative and people just don't know how to react to it. And when you're not sure what to do, you know, ugly is easy. Well, I'm really about to make them mad because I've been praying and asking God uh, <laughs> to give me a better creative idea because, you know, the modeling thing, you know, that was we just talked about all that. But right. I was like, OK, Lord, how can I still honor protocol, honor the manufacturers saying that I have to charge a certain price mm -hmm. and not hurt other businesses in the process. Well, Botox, Javove, all of it, it has a very short shelf life okay. and we have to follow protocol. It will still work amazing. You know, it's like when something first gets outdated, it's, sure. you know, it still could be good, but especially, like with, med yeah. especially with medications, they're mm -hmm. going to shorten it just to cover their behind, yeah. right? Yeah. So with that being said, if I have a half a bottle or five or six bottles that are already open because you use different products on different people, I don't want to throw it away. Right. So I'm like, you know what? How about once a month instead of model Monday and Tuesdays, I just do product dumping. I don't know how to call it. I'm going to have to come up with a fancy word because that <laughs> sounded terrible. But I'm like, so instead of throwing it away, why not? keep that and let them purchase it'll only they will only have two days to be able to do that because okay. i have to throw it away You're i have like, to follow the protocol mm -hmm. and so i'm just gonna randomly post hey guys this is the day come get your talks basically just give it away instead of throwing it away there you go and i'm not doing that to like stab or jab back but what they're doing is forcing me to get creative yeah 
And because I am not going to hurt the little man. I'm not going to be the person that jacks up the prices for everybody. Everybody is being hit with inflation all the same. Yep. And it's unfortunate, but it takes money to make money. Why not put that money to where it helps others? Right. Or why not just take that that energy to make posts and, and do something creative for your business instead of attacking somebody Oh, they're about to else. make me do that. Okay, what? so I have somebody. <laughs> I know I am not looking forward to it. What? Yeah. So we have somebody that we pay for like our SEOs, different yeah. things like that. And yes. he's like, okay, Randa, we're at the point now. You have branded your company. Mm -hmm. You have branded your work. Yep. Now it's time to brand you. And he's like, you got to have tape videos. And I'm just like, man, I thought Twitter was a dance at one time. Like, oh, I am not, like, <laughs> I am not the, like, this technical, is not your thing. This like, is not this is yeah. not me. If you look at my posts, I don't ever do selfies, really. Like, it's just not me. Right. I'm a hands-on, like, let's figure this out, and I'll mess with you when I see you in person. So now I've been practicing my smile, and it just gets worse. <laughs> what? Like, I can't, look at this. When Stop somebody it tells Yes. When somebody tells me to smile for a picture. Uh-huh. It's like this weird Grinch with <laughs> like, well, don't like, do that then. Like I might have to pass gas or something. No, like, stop. like it is so bad. Can't you get them to take pictures like while you're working or something? Yeah, I keep or telling them that ever, we all forget. Oh, yeah. We all you get forget. used to it after a while. You just like, it's but just, it's a weird are, part yeah, of business. They're really going to get to see like me. There you go. That's yeah. good though. Yeah, I think people I see will you mess in up the med words. spa anyway. Yeah, I will definitely mess up words. Uh, I somehow make up my own words. I mix two <laughs> words together often. Okay. <laughs> like, You're like, this is what it is. I Keep know. up. I'm like, and if I offend you, please know it's not my heart. I am sorry, <laughs> but I will definitely do it again trying to, <laughs> trying to trying fix to it. Trying to not to. Yes. Yeah. No, I've never been offended in there. I've been in there a few Sweet. times. Um, But no, that's good. I think that... I hope this is inspiring to people and they want to come and check out your locations. Uh, I'm, I'm stoked to find Absolutely. out some more about the tattoo stuff. Um, piercing in and out in like a comfortable place also is super compelling. Um, I'm super excited. You're just doing lots of very cool things and sorry to the other people out there who are upset about I it. I think like, we could all work plenty together. Of business. Yeah. I, right? I seriously. Okay. So how I started to learn all this stuff about, you know, the different types of talks mm -hmm. and, you know, learning, you know, Javov is actually a Korean talks and like a lot of the best skincare products are Korean, huh. all this stuff. I started looking into it because I was just so shocked at how much our cost is uh -huh. and how it was just more than doubled. That's why everybody else's is, is getting so high. It's because... Our cost has more than doubled. What? Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's insane. So it's I was going to do cost. like Javov, yeah. right? I have been looking into the best talks, doing research. I was going to actually get my own brand. But I was like, what the heck am I going to name this? I'm not going to name it Randa Talks. Who's going to buy that? <laughs> like, I'm going to wait and do more research, right? Okay. Because I, want, I narrowed it down to the best talks and this is a lot of research in a long time mm -hmm. and like us personally using it on each other and doing things Trying right out. yeah and but then it that part's easy like okay. getting our own product and doing that it's the fda part of it and that brings in way more money and then way. come to find out they set your price for you so it defeats the purpose oh. because i wanted to get my own talks and sell it to the meds falls around. Okay. At our original. At your price. Yes. Sure. I like the half price. I was like, why can't we just help each other out? Right. And it's it just. got involved. Oh my gosh. And it is, it's just not worth it. It's so crazy what you have to do to even. To even get it. To even get it. And then it's taken out of your hands anyways. What and they determine the price. But it, it's all the same stuff. It's the same with filler. Filler is a hyaluronic acid with lidocaine and a binder. That's but it. FDA says you have to use this certain manufacturer. Instead, of, like for me, I'm like, okay, Botox. It's only FDA approved for your gabella, right? Mm -hmm. So it's off label when you do your forehead or your crow's feet. Mm -hmm. So it's like, why can't we do the same with hyaluronic acid? Your body naturally produces... And water binds to it so you get your longevity, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And 
no, you have to. You, so I was like, how is that any different if it's off label? If yeah. the doctor can okay that. Nope. That's interesting. And yeah. So I've learned a lot about the FDA recently and stuff, but I wouldn't have known any of this if all this didn't. That's funny. So it like threw you into this whole it world. Did. It of threw like, me what into about it. This? I'm glad I didn't invest the money that it would have taken to get my own tox because I would have just been blocked with FDA anyways. Ugh. Yeah. So it, it really, it's really helped me name out. The price. Like <laughs> I know. I was shocked How at is that. that. Where's, you know, competition? How is this not and... monopolized? Like, yeah. That's but... weird. Um, uh, you know what we haven't really talked about is what you do. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like just kind of assuming people know what the med spa is. So let's let's finish it up by talking about the services you guys offer. Okay. So we offer Botox, uh, weight loss injections, filler, all the lasers, uh, IV therapy, mm-hmm. just kind of all the things, tattoo removal. Mm-hmm. Lip flips. Oh yeah, all of it. All the things. That's your tox. What is it? Lip flips. That's pop, that's Botox. It's okay. pot filler. Okay. Yeah. See, so you do like a lot of stuff. Yes, ma'am. It's not just getting rid of the wrinkles. Nope. That's good. I, to know. I, I know. I wanted removal. to start a podcast called uh, Jesus and Botox <laughs> or Botox and Jesus. <laughs> do it. I should, but. I'd probably just start confessing all my stuff from years ago. And <laughs> see, I told you, I was like, you can't give me time. Like, never mind, never mind. We can't talk about that. There's no time for that today. That's funny. And um, where can people find you? What's the best place to follow you? Are you on? I know that you're like tiptoeing towards the social media, but. Um, we do have all you? of that. Yeah. I'm just not the one that. Runs it. Yeah. I yeah. don't do all the posts. I don't like, we have somebody that puts all the posts and stuff together. Mm-hmm. Um, so is it at the med spa? It is. So originally, I mean, if you look up uh, Green Eye Med Spa, it, it'll read it direct you there. But it's just the med spa. We named it that way because of China Spring in Waco. So mm-hmm. when somebody asks, hey, where'd you go? Oh, we went to the med spa in China Spring. Yeah, I or like that. Or the med spa in Waco. And it just it just helps. Yeah, a lot. it's easy. Mm-hmm. It's like naming a bar of the library. And where Hidden Gems is the tattoo shop and why we named it that because we kept our original logo because we want to keep our roots. Okay. We love Green Eye Associates. We love where we came from and they will always be family. Nice. Period. Okay. So we kept our logo just okay. so we can remember where we came from and Green Eye Med Spa spells gems. Green Eye Med Spa. Oh yeah. Okay. So we wanted to somehow have that play in it as well. So Hidden oh, Gems, cool. okay. it kind of plays back on where we came from. Oh, I love that. That's mm-hmm. really neat. <gasps> that, that's a lot of thought going into that. That's fun. Okay, Plus, very cool. You know, emerald green is my favorite color, if you can Is it tell. really? <laughs> well, I just thought that there was green everywhere because <laughs> no, of you starting out green. No, it's definitely my favorite. Spot. And I feel that's like so it goes fun. with every season. Yeah, it can. For sure. Mm-hmm. It does. And it was green. part of Green Eye Med Spa, mm-hmm. which, by the way, Green Eye Associates just switched one of their scrub colors to the same green. <laughs> I'm happy about that. I mean, it, after like, I look left, at but, that. <laughs> but, but, but there yeah, it is. But they look beautiful. How fun. Very cool. And then let's see. So they can follow you at the Med Spa. Um, I guess that pretty much covers kind of your business and what you do. Mm-hmm. And I will also link uh, Unbound in case anybody feels like yes. they'd like to make a donation. And um, and if anybody is going through something similar or know somebody that is, mm-hmm. please reach out to me. Like, I don't care what time it is. I do not care. I will come. Like, if you need me, I'm there. Okay. Like, it's, you don't know who's truly being trafficked. They can be right next to you. You know, I think that's an important point, and I love unbounds not my not in my city because most people kind of assume oh mm-hmm. that's not happening here but it does happen here and I can think off the top of my head one of one of the most expensive homes I can think of in our area was a trafficking house yes and so don't let uh level of wealth don't mm-hmm. let place in the city like don't don't ever assume it's not happening right under your nose. Yeah, mine was a neighbor that did it to me. Yeah, see, look at that. I and, mean, and we I actually worked with a young lady uh that was being trafficked. Did you? Mm-hmm. Did you and pick up on through, yes. the signs and yes. you're like, "Man, I'm like this isn't." It was me and another employee. But yeah, she was being trafficked. Mm. Good for you guys. I hope you're mm-hmm. able to help her. Um, but good. So if anybody is in a situation, mm-hmm. they can reach out to you. 
Mm-hmm. And you will know. And that's absolutely, absolutely judgment free. They can come stay with me until we get it figured out. Like, I don't care. Okay. I do not care. I mean, like I said, I was a junkie at one point, prostitute for many years, drug, all of it. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't care. Like, it, it takes community and it takes people fighting through your trauma because you can be fine for months. And then when it hits, it hits. And just having people that are still in your corner is huge. Okay. So you want to be that person now. You yes, want to be in somebody's absolutely. corner. Absolutely. That's amazing. And you're probably going to make a lot of progress. I think you're going to turn a lot of hearts on Thursday mm-hmm. night. I'm um, really excited for you to speak at the gala. That's that's great. Are you going to be there? And courageous. I won't be there this year. Although oh. I did tell Bronda if she needs help, I'll volunteer. But um, oh. no, not this year. I was like, you could have been the person I have to stare at in the audience so that I can get through it. Maybe I'll be like, can I just stand there during Randa's speech? Thanks. Um, uh, but no, I think that it'll be good. It'll open doors for people. Absolutely. And we'll definitely link that in the show notes so people can connect with Unbound, connect with you. Because... What a story and what a way to come out on the other side of it. Again, nice. you're a fighter and a survivor. Yeah. And, you're and just I coming really don't care it. what you name it if you want to name it that. <laughs> <laughs> Counterfeit Botox. Counterfeit Botox. <laughs> yeah. That's what today's episode is. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Is there anything we missed that you want people to know about the med spa? No, but I'm sure I'll think about it on the way back to work. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, if you think of anything while you're driving back there, just let me know and I'll add it in. Awesome. But other than that, that is Randa Rice with the Med Spa, and this has been What's Up, Waco. Do you have a topic you want to talk about? Do you have questions about Waco, the real estate market, how to sell your house, what to look for when you're buying a home? Send me an email, Erica Sells Texas at gmail.com. Shoot me a text, 254 447 0180. Happy to chat about it. Find me anywhere you listen to your podcasts or at roguemedianetwork.com. This has been a Rogue Media Network production. <laughs>